You replay a 30 second conversation for three hours. Every word, every pause, every glance. You call it anxiety. But what if it's not? What if it's a superpower most people don't have? Stick with me. In the next six minutes, I'll show you five rare traits that prove you're not broken. You're wired differently. And how to turn that into your biggest strength. And these five uncommon traits explain why connection can feel exhausting and why what you've been calling a flaw might be your greatest advantage. Welcome to the first trait, the endless analysis loop, where awareness turns into exhaustion. Your mind doesn't rest after a conversation. It replays every tone, every expression, every micro shift. That's not overthinking, that's over noticing. Psychologists call it rumination, when the brain reprocesses emotional data to make sense of social uncertainty. It's not weakness, it's your emotional radar trying to predict safety. Your mind is searching for understanding, not approval. But here's the catch. Connection isn't an exam you pass, it's a rhythm you feel. So after your next talk, set a five minute timer. Let your mind analyze all at once. Then stop, move, walk, breathe. Teach your body the art of release. Because when analysis ends, presence begins. You walk into a room and instantly scan the energy. Who's tense, who's faking, who's at ease. Then, bam, the spotlight flips onto you. Now you have started scanning yourself. Am I standing weird? Am I too quiet, too much? And just like that, your gift turns into pressure. That's our second trait, hyper self-awareness. How am I standing? Am I too quiet, too much? Do I belong here? That's your brain running a social safety scan. Psychologists call it self-monitoring. It evolved to protect you from rejection. But when it stays switched on, it drains your authenticity. Here's the truth. No one's watching you as closely as you think. They're too busy replaying their own highlight reel of self-doubt. So before your next interaction, whisper this to yourself. I'm speaking to someone who already accepts me. Watch how your shoulders drop. Your tone softens. Your words start to flow. Because connection never begins with perfection. It begins with permission. Trait three, low tolerance for inauthenticity. You can spot fake smiles instantly. You feel when someone's being polite but not honest. That's not judgment, it's perception. Your mirror neurons, the empathy circuits in your brain, are tuned higher than most. They pick up emotional static other people can't even sense. That's why lies feel loud to you, even when no one says a word. But not every moment needs to be profound. Small talk isn't empty, it's the bridge to truth. Surface conversation isn't the enemy of depth, it's the doorway to it. So when the moment feels shallow, remember, depth doesn't disappear, it just takes time to surface. Let others warm up. Because real connection doesn't start deep, it grows there. Trait four, high social perception. You see the world in subtitles. Body language, tone, hesitation, microtension. You read emotion in HD. That's empathy turned all the way up. A gift, but a draining one. Because when you see everything, you start to absorb everything. Neuroscientists call it emotional contagion. Your nervous system sinking with the energy of others. It's how compassion feels like weight. But empathy without boundaries becomes exhaustion. And you can't heal what you're drowning in. You can understand a storm without standing in the rain. Boundaries don't make you cold. They make your kindness sustainable. Protecting your energy doesn't mean you care less. It means you care wisely. Trait five, the closeness paradox. You crave deep connection, but when it finally arrives, something in you hesitates. You want to be seen, yet when someone truly sees you, you start to pull back. That's not confusion, it's protection. It's your nervous system mixing up vulnerability with danger. Your mind thinks openness is exposure, when it's actually the beginning of safety. But connection doesn't bloom under control. It blooms under trust. So let imperfection exist. Let silence speak. Let people see you unedited. Because you don't earn belonging, you allow it. The right people won't need you to perform. They'll just need you to be. The thread that ties it all together. Every one of these traits, the analysis, the awareness, the depth, comes from one source, heightened perception. You notice what others miss. You think before you speak. 
you feel before others even realize they're feeling. And that awareness can isolate you if you resist it, but it can guide you if you own it. The same mind that overthinks can sense truth faster than words. The same sensitivity that once drained you can become intuition that directs you. And the same solitude you feared can become the silence that strengthens you. You were never too much. You were just tuned sharper, deeper, more alive. And that's exactly what this world needs. Minds that see deeper, hearts that care harder, souls that move quieter, but impact louder. So stop shrinking to fit. Stand as you are, thoughtful, aware, rare. Because those who are meant for you will feel your energy instantly, and they'll stay. Your awareness isn't a weakness, it's your frequency. Own it, live it, lead with it. Because the world doesn't need more noise, it needs truth in human form.